Trinity. One God. Trinity. One God. Trinity. One God. Children. Children. of the Lord. And I know you are also happy to be in the house of the Lord. Whether physically, whether virtually, we are in the house of the Lord and we are happy to be here. If you are happy today, let me see a smile on your face. Can I say smile? Should I mention names if I don't see your smile? Ah, I'm seeing beautiful smiles. It is always a great joy to come to you with service in your home from our home and from our work in some instances. God is good all the time. And so I welcome you all to this service, this morning's very special service. Children, if you have not called your friends, this is a time to call your friends to tell them service has started. If you don't have your Bible, your hymn book, your notebook, your pens, if you use pens, and your pencils, if you use pencils. And so this is the time to go for them so you can write everything down so you don't forget. If you are joining us for the very first time, this is the Children's Ministry of the Trinity United Church, Legon. You can find us within the campus of the Trinity Theological Seminary. We begin the service in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 We shall enter into Amen. a time of prayer. All eyes closed. I don't want to see any eyes. Close your eyes. Think about God. When we say God, what comes into your mind? You can think of his creation. You can think of the mountains. You can think of the birds that sing. You can think of the sea. You can think of all the things that you find so wonderful and interesting. You want to say thank you to God. As I keep saying, we are breathing the air every day and yet it does not get finished. Isn't God wonderful? God says, this our hair on our head. He can count all of them. He knows the number. Isn't it? When we sit for a thousand years, we will not be able to count the hair on our head. And yet God cares for us so much. So he knows the number. I want you to say a very big thank you. Worship his name. Tell him how great he is. If it had not been for him on our side, where would we be today? Say thank you. Last week, we committed our week into his hands. He has taken care of all of us, and we have met here today. New people have joined us today. 
great is his faithfulness. God loves us, but he does not like or love our sin. But he says when we say we are sorry, he will forgive us. And you know what? He will not remember our sin anymore. God is not like us. That when people have said sorry, we'll still say, as for Kosia, what she did to me, as for, as for Kofi. No, God says he will not remember our sin anymore. Let us say sorry. The good things we should have done and we didn't do, let us say sorry. The bad things, we know them should not have done that we did. Let's say sorry to God. Now, as we trust in his faithfulness that he has forgiven all our sins that we have confessed today, let us bring this morning's service before him. We have been learning about loving God. Let us pray that even as we conclude our sermon on loving God today, he will help us this week, the weeks to come, months to come, years to come, to love him more and more every day. Let us pray that God, the Holy Spirit, will come and take absolute control of today's service. Even as Grandma Julia brings her message to us, God himself will talk to us through her. That none of us will live here the same. Shall we pray? Our Lord and Heavenly Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the opportunity to meet at your feet virtually this morning. Spirit of the living God, we pray that you come and take absolute control over this service. Let us take our minds off all things and listen to your word. If it as your word speaks to our heart. So we will abide in you and do exactly as we learn today. We thank you. In Jesus' name have we prayed. Amen. 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 Grandma Julia. So we have our own special grandma, Grandma Julia, in our midst to bring our message to us. And so as she comes, I want us all to show some love. Show some love for Grandma Julia. <laughs> Mama Julia, we are ready. Hi, children. Hello. 
I'm so happy. Hello. So happy and happy and happy. Very excited to see you all once again. The Lord has blessed us and given us another opportunity to sit at his feet and to listen and hear his word. I want all of us to shout, shout, and say thank you, Jesus, for your word. Thank you, thank you Jesus, for your word. Good. As Auntie Bridget indicated, and as we all know, over the past few weeks, we have been talking about loving God. I will be very happy to know from you what was the topic we treated last week. Yes? Can you hear me? If you hear me, just do this and let me see. Are you hearing me? Just do this. Good, good, good. You are hearing me. Um, who would tell us the topic that uh, that we treated last week? Yes, who can tell me what we did last week? Yes, I can see Auntie Bridget. Can you help me? The, the gentleman in the in the blue t shirts, there are two blue t shirts. There's Nini, there's Clive. Wow, he's okay. The one with the sister. <laughs> Both of them are with their sisters. Is oh it? My <laughs> is that sister okay. haircut or plenty? Plenty. It's, it's plated with um, red. Uh, okay. So that's Nini. Nini. Okay. Tell us what we did last week. That we, we learned that we should love God with all our strength. To love God with all our strength. That is good. We love God with all our strength. Shall we give him a hand? <laughs> oh. So now, who can tell us last week's memory verse? <laughs> it is not me. I want a lady. I want a lady. I want a lady. No lady. Yes. <laughs> Oh, mommy why am I seeing yeah. only gentlemen? I want a lady. Mommy for sure I can't do that. <laughs> mommy for sure, yes. Who yeah. can oh, tell me, uh, please tell us uh, the memory verse for last week. Mommy for sure. Philippians 4, 8. Finally, yes. brethren, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is admirable, if any, if any excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Philippians 4, 8. Amen. 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 Hmm, mommy for two. That, that was not last week's memory verse. Mm -hmm. So who can help us? That is very good. Who can that help us with it? Yeah. Who can help us with last week's memory verse? Kenzie. Kenzie. All right, Kenzie. Yeah. Can you help us with last week's memory verse? Love God. Love God. Love the Lord your God. Love the Lord your love. Yes. Ohima. Ohima. Hi, Ohimba. Can you help us? Last week's memory verse. I'm forgetting the verse, but I remember the memory verse. Okay, so say it and let me hear. Whatever you do, whether you drink, whether you, whether you eat, whether you drink, do it in the name of the Lord. Good. So who can help us with the quotation? I pray, please. Yes, 
I said, I said, please repeat it again. Then the second one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you saying it for us? Who is going to say everything for us? First Corinthians 10 verse 31. So Good. whether you eat or drink, whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. First Sorry, Corinthians. First Corinthians 10 verse 31. Amen. 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 I would encourage all of you to go back to your notebooks. And if you have your notebook, kindly ensure that you are writing 1 Corinthians 10, 31, so that you can memorize it very well. It is very good for us to know the word of God, so that we can keep on keeping on practicing the word of God. Before we come to today's um, topic, I would like us to sing our Presby hymn, Five nine seven, five nine seven, which says what? See how pleasant and how good, joyful life we all shall have when we believers love the Lord. We live as friends in unity, live in peace and unity. So the Presby hymn number five nine seven. She ye a ye and if fe a ye se enyanum boom et snapa koso. topic is loving God, loving our hearts, our neighbor. Can you repeat it after me? Loving God, loving our neighbor. Loving, loving God, God, loving our God, loving our neighbor. Good. So what did I say our topic is today? Papa K and Mommy, what is our topic for the day? 
Loving God, loving my neighbor. Loving God, loving my neighbor. That is great. We will look at our scripture reading from Mark 12, 29 to 31. Mark 12, 29 to 31. Great. And it goes like this. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength and to love your neighbor as yourself. Amen. Because of Amen. time, I would ask you to take your time and then you go through. The Lord is good. Yes, we should love the Lord, our God, with all our hearts and with all our minds. So today we have a nice memory verse that will go with our team. A nice memory verse. Hey, I love the, the screen. I like the background. And it says what? John 13, 34. 13, verse 34. John 13, 34. Faith. John 13, 34. John 13, verse 34. Good. John 13, 34. A new commandment I give to you. That you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. Can you repeat it for me? One, go. Yes. A new commandment I give you. She love one another just as I have loved you. You also are so I'm going to repeat it for the last time so that we can appreciate and enjoy it. And again, our topic is loving God, loving our neighbor. So our memory verse is towards that one, which says that what? John 13, 34, a new commandment I give to you that you love one another just as I have loved you. You, are, you also are to love one another. John 13, 34. Amen. 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 Okay. Amen. Good. So I'm finding out from you. How do you show love to your neighbor? How do you show love to your neighbor? Yes. And I continue. When I finish. There are three hands up. There are three hands up. Wow. Okay. Wow. How do you show love to your neighbor? Mommy Fusua. Okay. So we start from Mommy Fusua. Then we go to Aseye. And who else? Lloyd. Lloyd. Okay. Yes. No, there are other hands up. Are you let them, let them say today then? Another place you want to answer. Okay. Hey. So who will tell me who will be the first person to tell me 
how we show love to our neighbors. Jolene, uh, when we finish, we'll come back so that you copy the memory verse, okay? Good. Yes, I say, how do we show love to our neighbor? Sharing and helping. Caring and what? Helping them. And helping them. Okay. That is one. For you are. Caring for them. I know you caring for them. Great. You are all wonderful. Lloyd. If, if somebody doesn't have something, you are supposed to share with the person. Great. Great. And who else has a hand up? Hey. Yes. Is that okay? Is that me? Maybe I say your own so that you can mute your mic. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> When someone gets hurt, you have you have to help the person. Good. You have all done very well. Very very good. Come the chapel. Oh, okay. Please come in. You are supposed to be kind. Say. You are supposed to be kind. Say. Say. You are supposed to. Supposed to be kind. You are supposed to be kind. That is very great. Thank you so much, every one of you, for saying something good. But let's look at what the dictionary describes as our neighbor. Let's look at what the dictionary says who our neighbor is. You see, the dictionary says that. Describes a neighbor as someone who lives next to you or near to you. Simply put, a neighbor is any member of the community. So, brothers and sisters are neighbor. Friends in school are neighbors. Right? Your next Door, your next door neighbor, right? Is also your neighbor. And people that we come across are also our neighbors. So everybody around us becomes a neighbor. The moment somebody is closer to you, the person is your neighbor. We can describe such a person as a fellow citizen, right? Jesus broadens the concept of a neighbor by including anyone regardless of ethnic or religious background. So like I said, everyone that comes your way is your neighbor. So you see, we depend on each other. You cannot be your neighbor yourself. You cannot sometimes help yourself yourself. So for example, when you are in need of a vehicle, you have to depend on Uber. When you want to eat Tampico, you have to go and buy it from someone. And so that person is your neighbor. So you, you see, none of us can depend on ourselves. So we are supposed to be depending on each other at every point in time. So... We do what? We give love, we share, we smile, we play, and we do everything with somebody. So everyone around us is our neighbor. And that is the special thing God has given us. We are supposed to love each other. We are supposed to love each other so we can live in peace. We thank God for this 
wonderful message he has for us. So since we are dependent on each other, like Auntie Bridget is indicating, no one in his own strength could ever love God or his neighbor easily. Because sometimes, even as brothers and sisters, or sisters and sisters, or brothers and brothers, <laughs> we step on each other. Sometimes we are very um, irritated and the little thing we are hitting somebody. But because of the love of God and the command that God gives us to love our neighbor, we depend on him to live. So Jesus lives in us. He gives us the power to love others with God's special love. So without that one, we cannot do it. So because we have invited Jesus Christ into our life, he gives us the power irrespective of the conditions we find ourselves. So what? Godly love is not just a feeling. It is a decision to care for other people and to put them before ourselves. Offering help when they are in trouble, even when it is difficult to do so. Yes, sometimes it is difficult. When your brother has taken, eaten your, uh, your bread, <laughs> that you knew you were supposed to come, uh, you know, you know it, it is there for you to eat. And then you come back, your brother has eaten it. Hey, is it, is it easy to love the person? Aha, uh -huh. but God says what? We should love our neighbors because he first loved us, irrespective of how sinful we are. If you truly love God, you will show his love to others with your actions. Christian love is not just selfish. You always seek the best for everyone. Can you give me an example of this? Way we can demonstrate love of God to others. Ways we can demonstrate love of God to others. Let us be aware of the needs of those around us. How can we be aware of the needs of people around us? Sometimes we need to look and appreciate what we have and what we can share. Who is God placing on your heart to show his love? This is how we should be thinking. So we are looking at everybody around us in school, in our neighborhood, in our community, and um, wherever we find ourselves. Sometimes you see somebody by the roadside and God will place on your heart to share with the person. So this is very, very important. And why is it important? God shows compassion and mercy to those who need because we have asked God to come and live in us, he also enables us to show compassion to, to them that need it. Amen. Amen. You also would have to watch carefully and respond positively to the needs of people around us. So, for example, you go out every time mommy sends you you go out, you go and, and buy something from, um, should I say sugar, milk or something. And you notice that, oh, the place you, um, you, you keep visiting to go and get stuff. The kids are always wearing something tattered. And you know that, oh, you have this dress. Oh, mommy, please, can I share with this person? And the Lord will be happy with all of us. So that is how we, we help people positively. Right? Shall we continue? So we have the ways we can demonstrate the love of God to others. 
And sometimes it is very costly, right? God has given us the resources we can, we can use to bless others in need without expecting anything from them. We must use God's given talents and abilities for his glory alone. So what is your talent? You can sing. Somebody will be downhearted and your music is going to lift the person's um, spirit up and the person is happy. So it is not only about um, um, what we have at the possession, but our talents can also be of a blessing to someone. When we do these things and more, then we would be, be in all obedience to the word of God, loving God, loving our neighbor. Amen. Have you ever done one thing to help or reach out to a neighbor? Have you ever done something like that before? Who can tell me if he has been very supportive to a neighbor before? Yes. Adam. I've shared with a neighbor. What did you share with the neighbor? And my snack, my friend didn't have snacks, so I gave some of my friends to my friend. Good. That is great. Who else? Mommy yes. Posua. I helped my neighbor to do her homework. Oh, this is wonderful. This is very wonderful. So we will continue. Who else is there? Shane. In, in school, someone got hurt and I took the person to the school nurse. Wow. That is wonderful. Maybe very, I very wonderful. I can yes. I think for the neighbor. Hey. Wow. Hey. That is great. <laughs> There are so many ways we can support our neighbor. And in doing so, it means we are loving God and loving our neighbor. God bless you all. God bless you. So my question is, what have you learned? Everybody is going to talk. Thank you, Auntie Bridget. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'll come back and share. So I'm Good. starting from the first person on my screen. Karisan, what have you learned today? I have learned to be gentle. Good. You have learned to be gentle to your neighbor. Right. Good. 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 I have learned that I am supposed to help my neighbor when my neighbor is needed. Great. Yes, Jolene. We should love our neighbor. We should love our neighbor. Great. How are you going to love your neighbor, Jolene? By helping. By helping. Great. Clive. <laughs> What have you learned? I've learned that if someone needs something, we should share. Good. Shane. I've learned that we should help our neighbors in need. Good. Kenzie. I should. <laughs> We should help our neighbor. Uh, we should help our neighbor. Good. Good. Adam. We should help people in need. We should help people in need. I say it. Yes, I learned today that you should help your neighbors and Love and care for them so that one day they can also help you. Love, love your neighbors as God loves. Good, good. Lloyd. 
I've learned that you should love your neighbor as yourself. Good. Good. Eunice. I've learned that you should be kind. Good. 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 Oh, hey, ma. I think we should love our neighbor the same way God loves us. We love our neighbor the same way God loves us. God loves us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Lebele. We should love God. We should love our neighbors. When our neighbors are in need, we should help them. Good. Lorraine. I learned that we should lo love our neighbors as ourselves. We should share we should show them our just generosity, kindness, and treat them as God wants us to. Luna, Luna, what have you learned today? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 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 What have you learned today? Hi. Zaza. <laughs> Zaza, what have you learned today? Now you should be respectful to your neighbors. Good. I've called everybody, haven't I? Ashley. I, I didn't hear Adam. Oh, okay. Adam, I think I called her. Okay, Adam, what have you learned today? You called me and I said to uh, to help them in need, to help people in need. Good. Good. Ashley, did you hear anything at all? Have you learned anything? Or you just joined? You just joined? Okay. Yes. So, Ashley, um, as you joined and the, your, your colleagues or your friends, yes. We're sharing. What did you learn from what they said? Love God as ourself. Okay. So that is great. So our topic for the day is loving God, loving your neighbor. Loving God, loving your neighbor. So all too soon. We are coming to the end of our nine discussion and on the projector. I would want everyone to read something from the screen and tell me. I just want you to excite yourself. So tell me what you are reading on the screen. Just say one. Don't, don't say two, just say one. And children, I'm going to call from, I'm going to call by age. The older people are give you last. Good. So, as if they just, can you go ahead so that they can share with what is on the screen, what has touched their hearts? Okay. Lloyd. Help him. Help him. Great. Help him. Harrison, what can you read? Well, what did you say? Well, world. Oh, yes, that's world. Yes. Okay. Um, Jolene. Understanding. Understanding. Okay. So when you love your neighbor, you understand your neighbor. Wow. Lebene. Kindness. Kindness. Wow. Kindness. Uh, Nuna, are you sure you can read? What can you see, Nuna? There. There. <laughs> well done. Kenzie. Loving. 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 Good. All right. So now let me count. Clive. 
Kindness. Kindness. Okay. Oh, hey, ma. Compassion. Compassion. Wow. I'm not going to get this one because it's big. Mm -hmm. Tree. Tree. Good. Good. Uh, Humanity. Humanity. Adam. Adam. Compassionate. Compassionate. Good. Pake. Generous. Generous. Zaza. Considerate. Wow. Considerate. Ashley. Generous. Generous. Okay. Auntie Julie, I think I've called everybody. Yes. Let me see what I can also see. Share. Good. I see treats. I see helping. Mm -hmm. I see humility. Mm. I see fortunate. Yeah. I see feeling. I see. Mm -hmm. So all too soon. But Auntie all... Julie, you know the Auntie Julie. Yes. You know the interesting thing, the biggest one, no one said. Others. <laughs> 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 ah, interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, my fair ladies and gentlemen, it is time to do an activity. Identify one neighbor who is hard for you to love and choose to treat him or her as more important than yourself this week. Mm. Should I read it again? Are you writing? I want you to write, so I don't want you to forget. Identify one neighbor who is hard for you to love and choose to treat him or her more important than yourself this week. And you know, in doing this, we attract the blessings of God. Let me tell you what happened last week, Saturday, to me. There is a next door neighbor who is always doing wrong, always tampering with the electric, electric pole, and always our light is going off and his is on. He does that every time. Last Saturday, I was in the house when I heard his house was burning. I have to run out with my vehicle because they called the fire service and the fire service was not coming. So I just quickly sat in my car drove to the fire service and brought the fire service to this to the scene and i thank god that god helped me irrespective of his um attitude wrong attitude towards me god helped me to help him and i know i in a way i have affected his life who knows by doing so his attitude is now going to change. So the activity says what? Look out for someone who is your neighbor. And I said a neighbor is anyone that comes across you. So the person could be in your community. The person could be your next door neighbor. The person could be in your school. The person could be by the roadside shouting on you. I want you to give me money to eat. The person is shouting and show a little kindness to the person. 
and the Lord. Someone is showing my brother. Some, good to someone who will say my sister. <laughs> and the Lord is going to bless us. Wahima and Paki. This week you have a project. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Interesting. The Lord is going to bless and bless every one of us. All too soon, we have come to the end of our deliberations, our discussions, our study. And I want to say, God richly bless you. Do you see the you? Do you see the, you see the hand? Hey, God bless you. Shall we please share a word of prayer? Are we ready to pray? Good. So as our heads are bowed, I would want you to thank God for his sweet word that has come to you. That is telling you to love him and to love everybody around you. Our hymn that we did says what? See how pleasant and how good a joyful life we shall have when we believers in the Lord live as friends in unity. Just ask God to help you. Remember when we were doing the study, we said we cannot do without depending on God. We cannot love our neighbor without depending on God. So with your eyes closed, talk to God. Tell God, I would want to depend on you. I would want to love my neighbor as I love you. I would want to show kindness to my neighbor. I would want to show love to my neighbor. Help me to do so. Shall we pray? Father, we want to thank you once again for what we have learned. We pray that it will remain with us forever. Help us to live your word, especially caring and loving our neighbors as we have loved you. We pray committing the week in your hands. Father, we have been challenged to go and show kindness to people who, who, one way or the other, are not nice to us, but you say we should love them. Help us to go and practice this. And we know in doing so, you bless us. Bless us, bless our sisters, bless our brothers, bless our father, our mother, our aunties and our sisters, and all around us, as we show love. We ask this in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Wow. wow, wow. I have been blessed. If you have been blessed, wait and let me see. Yay. So what do we say? Gamma Julia, God bless you. God bless you too. God bless you. Let's go. Gamma Julia, God bless you. Yes. 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 Yes.
thank you very, very much, Mama Julia, for this wonderful message. God bless you. Indeed, children, it is not easy to love your neighbor, but God says he will empower us. That is what I learned from Grandma Julia today. She said, me, myself, I cannot do it. So every day, I have to pray for God to empower me, help me to love my neighbor. And I'm sure you are also going to do the same. Thank you very much. God bless you, Grandma Julia. Announcement, announcement, announcement. Come Sunday is next week. Yes. Come Sunday is next week. If you are happy, it's Hosanna. Let me see you wear artificial imaginary palm front. Let me see. Yes, 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 yes. Next week is Palm Sunday. And we are supposed to have got have got this power. Yes, we are supposed to record our song. So we will have a hybrid service next week where we will have our song. As we are thankful and waiting for our branches, and then those of you who can join us in church, yes, in big church, next week, so expect on Saturday. Yes, so we will expect you, and we will wave our hosanna to God in the highest. Yes, we have also said that Children's Day is fast approaching. If you have not contacted your group leader, whether it's drama, whether it's choreography, whether it's all girl dancers, whether it's brigade or choir, choir, you contact me. If you are in choir, contact me. Yes. So if you have not contacted any of your teachers, if we don't, or if you don't perform on Children's Day, don't say Auntie Bridget didn't tell you. And me, I didn't know. Me, I didn't hear. None of those. So make sure you contact your group leaders. As you know, COVID-19 has not gone away. And so we have to talk about COVID-19. Now, we know all the protocols. So today, I'm going to run it by you. Number one. What is number one? Yes, <coughs> Wash your hands. Wash your hands is not number one. Number one. Stairs. 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 Who? Stairs. Wear your mask. Wear your mask. Yes. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. They are all true. And there's something. It starts with something. It starts oh, with something. Tell your parents. parents. Who was that? Stay at home. Stay at home. Thank you. This is not the time to go outside and play. We said you only go out when you have something very important to do outside, like going to school or mommy and daddy says come to big church with us or even when we start physical church, coming to physical church or mommy and daddy say let's go somewhere very important. That's the only time, or you are going to school. Otherwise, you stay at home. And we said, when you step out, then Harrison's own comes in. Wear your mask. And we said your mask must cover which three places? Your nose, your mouth, and your chin. Thank you. Your mask must cover your nose, your mouth, and your chin. Your mask must not be under your nose. It must not be under your chin. All the time, once you are out of the house, it must cover your nose, your mouth, and your chin. And I said the only time you take it off 
is to eat or drink water. And at this time, you make sure people are not around you. And then we say you wash your hands with soap and the running water. When you are out, when you come back home, when you move about in the house, and in the absence of soap and running water, what do you use? No soap, no running water. What do you use? Yes, Oh, let me call you first. Lois. Hello, yes. Sanitizer. Alcohol based hand sanitizer. And then we said you should avoid which places? Which places do you have to avoid? All these gatherings. Hey, I said, let me call you. <laughs> yes, Shay. Do not be in crowded areas. Avoid crowded areas. Do not be in crowded areas. If you happen to be in crowded areas, what are you supposed to do? Yes, Mommy Fosua. Social distancing. Social distancing. This time we want to call it physical distancing. Because after the social, we need the social to really have so that we cannot love, uh, we cannot help ourselves to help others the social interaction. We need it. So physical distancing. And for you, how do you know that uh, you can physically distance and it is enough? How do you know? How do you know that this physical distance is enough? Yes, or him? Step away at least three. Move back at least three steps. So three huge move steps. Move back three huge steps. Thank you. And then you know you are physically distant. And you, we said after you have done all these things, you must do what? What else must you do? Yes, Shane. You should also use alcohol based sanitizer or wash your hands. Yes, we have said that. You should use alcohol based sanitizer. When you have done all these, what must you do? Yes, Ohima. Inform your parents. Inform your parents. And something else. Something else. Yes, Mommy Fosua. If you have coronavirus, inform your parents and your friends. Yes, you have to tell people so that you can self isolate yes but then one 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 Yee. when you've done all this yes life do the protocol if you do the protocol the coronavirus will not catch you yes the coronavirus will not catch you but when you finish all that we said you should pray so that god will protect you so we have to add prayer. And after we have prayed, we are supposed to do something to make our community strong. Mm -hmm. right. You are supposed to eat vegetables and, and do exercise and eat fruit. Thank you. Oh, you are supposed to eat your vegetables, eat your fruits, and exercise ah children you are wonderful yes and then after we have done all this auntie lily taught us the one two three method she said we should not be afraid yes that's why your hand is up so auntie Lina, lily taught us the one two three method so the first one you can just grab something and describe it. Good. And the second? Mommy for two hours, the second one. Listen for, for some 
listen to what's around me. Yes, listen to the sounds surrounding you and try to yeah. think about Please. them. And then the last one, one, two, three methods. The last one. Yes, Zaza. The last one is take three deep breaths. Take three deep breaths. Great. You people are wonderful. It means you are learning so much. And we said we should encourage our brothers, our sisters, our aunties, our uncles, our mommies, our daddies, our grandpas, our grandmas. We should encourage them to go and get vaccinated. But you see, after the vaccination, you still need to abide or observe all the protocols. Grandma Julia has taught us that we should love our neighbors. You know one way we can love our neighbor is by abiding by all the COVID-19 protocols. Yes. When I wear my mask, I care about you. I don't want my talking and the uh, droplets coming out to give you COVID. When you also wear yours, it means you care about me. So as we love God and love our neighbor, let us observe all the protocols. Yay! Learn with Annie and Ben! Hey kids, did you know there's a new virus that originated in China and is now affecting people all over the world? It makes people unwell and it's not so good. But don't you worry, we all can protect ourselves against it. It's simple. Follow these easy steps to maintain proper hygiene and keep your body healthy, fit, and fine. 1. If you see anyone with a cough, cold, or a fever, don't get too close to them and suggest they visit a doctor immediately because that's what good friends do. 2. When you come home from school or from playing in the park, Always wash your hands with warm water and soap. Clean hands are healthy hands. 3. Wash all your fruits and vegetables properly. Clean food is good food. 4. Whenever you go out, wear a mask and ask all your friends to wear one too. As we must not allow naughty germs to spread. 5. As we know, it is good manners to cover your mouth while sneezing or coughing with a paper napkin and saying, Excuse me. Don't forget to throw the napkin away immediately after use. 6. It is best to stay at home and avoid those sneaky little germs. So play as many fun indoor games as you like. Read a book or draw and paint and you may just discover something you're really good at. Yay! And kids, while we follow these steps, don't forget we have to make our bodies stronger too. And how are we going to do that? By eating healthy food like vegetables and fruits, exercising regularly, and also going to bed on time. We are now ready to fight all those naughty germs and viruses around us. So take care of yourself, your family, and your friends. And we'll all be healthy, fit, and away from diseases. Yay! Have a great day! We had fun learning today! With Annie and Ben! At this point, birthday boys and girls! Yes, if you celebrated your birthday last week, or if today is your birthday, up, 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 up on your feet! Grandma Julia, on your feet! Up, 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 up! Everybody! Come on, come on, come on, come my face! Yeah, you know. Everybody! Help me, children! Help me, let's sing happy birthday for Grandma! Happy 
Today, you made all things beautiful. No coronavirus go away. No can people can go and know to use their mask. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Even pray for Grandma Julia. Pray for Grandma Julia. It's her birthday. Say a prayer for her. Thank you, Jesus, for today. You made all things beautiful. birthday for her ever. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 The best birthday for her ever. We amen. thank God. We thank God. Yes, no children, after birthday boys and girls, offering time, blessing time. Offering time, blessing time. Offering time. Blessing. Last week I told you people that this week I'm going to ask. I don't know if you are me last week. Okay. I will not ask. But please make sure you give your answer to me this week and use the short code star four four seven star one six. Two two hash. So, mommy, daddy, anybody there, you want to give your offer tree, and God will bless you abundantly. We thank God for such a wonderful service that we have brought to a successful end. We want to say a very big thank you to Godspeed Photography for editing our service for us every week and for our technical team for uploading our service for us for you children who join us on avaya we are so excited to see you the new faces today we are super excited to see you and make sure you keep joining us and so those of you watching at home know that there can be no Sunday school without you. We are going to start physical check service, hopefully in April. The first Sunday of April is Easter Sunday. And so we will all go to the big church as we do every year with mommy and daddy. And then the second week, God willing, we will meet at our Sunday school block. Yay! Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. So we come your way again next week. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Bye. Next week we'll be joining in Texas.
Matthew 19.